Hello friends, today we will discuss about the LRTI that is ligament reconstruction and tendon interposition of the arthritis of the first CMC joint of the bridge joint. In the LRTI, the arthritis of the CMC joint, the trabezium is involved. So we remove the trabezium and interpose the ulnar half of the FCR tendon. It is more common in the female than the male and the more common causes are the wear and tear, the advanced age, the genetic factors, the trauma. There are the common symptoms like the difficulty in grasping and pinching, pain at the base of the thumb, stiffness, swelling and malformation. This is the diagram of the LRTI procedure in which in the red circle there is a trapezium which is arthritic. So we remove it and we harvest the ulnar half of the FCR tendon and then pass it to the base of the first metal carpal bone and interpose it in the carpal metal carpal joint space to act as an ankovi. Here is the x-ray of the wrist joint which shows the CMC joint arthritis. And in the surgery, we identified it through a volar incision on the hand. An arthritic trapezium is removed with the help of the osteoderm and nibbler. Then we go for the harvesting the ulnar half of the abscess tendon after identifying it at the wrist joint up to the mid forearm. We sequentially identify the abscess tendon up to the mid forearm and then we tag it and then we slowly harvest the ulnar half of the abscess tendon by splitting it in, be in between. Here is the wrist joint which shows the abscess tendon at the base of the second metatarsal carpal bone and up to the mid forearm. Now we are suturing the abscess tendon with the help of the fiber wire for the later harvesting. After suturing it, we cut the, the abscess tendon in between and then separate the ulnar half from the its radial half and then its ulnar half is sequentially harvested from proximal to distally up to the wrist one by one through small incision with the help of the fiber wire. Here we are retrieving the ulnar half of the abscess tendon from proximal to distally through the small incision. Here we pass the fiber wire in the artery forceps and then slowly uh, retrieving the abscess tendon's ulnar half in the distal incision. Slow one by one through this small incision we, we at the end retrieve the abscess tendon's ulnar half at the wrist joint. Now here we are drilling to the base of the first metacarpal bone for the passage of the ulnar half of the abscess tendon. After drilling through the base of the first metacarpal, we will pass the kia through the same drill hole and with help of the chia, here we are passing the chia and with help of the chia, we will pass the ulnar half of the abscess tendon through the base of the first metacarpal bone. So it will act as a stabilizer of the first metacarpal bone during the movement of the thumb and then we will create the oblique ligament for the stabilizer of the CMC joint and remaining portion will, will act as an anchovy like a cushion between the CMC joint. Here we are passing the tendon through the bone, the base of the first metacarpal bone gradually and slowly with the help of the little force. So here the tendon is passed to the base of the first metacarpal bone and then we will go for the creation of the ligament and soft tissue interposition. Here we are suturing the ulnar half of the abscess tendon to the its remaining portion at the base of the second metacarpal bone to create the ligament and stabilize the first metacarpal bone and then the remaining portion we will suture fold and suture on itself like this to create the interpositional tissue which will act as a cushion or anchovy in between the CMC joint to stabilize it. After suturing the tendon on itself and folding it on itself, we will put the tendon in the CMC joint space which will act as an anchovy. Then after giving the proper words, we will close the wound. Here is the post-op x-ray 
we will give the scaffold cards for 30 weeks and after that we order the patient to boot the thumb thank you